We all see astronauts drinking out of bags with straws that resemble maybe a child's juice box. So in order for crew members to drink somewhat normally from a cup, space cups were designed and fabricated by a small company founded by Portland State University's Mark Weislogel. This cup is a key part of the capillary beverage investigation. Today, Weislogel shows us the science in the cup. What is a capillary beverage? Okay. <laughs> Let me describe something to you. Okay, we got into this business doing space experiments on the, on the station. And in that process, we learned a bunch of things about how to control things and how to predict how they, how they perform. When we heard about a, an espresso machine going up to meet an Italian ast astronaut in space, we thought, what a delight. Espresso is a complicated fluid. It's gravity dominated. There's all kinds of stuff that's going to be missed if it's in a bag. Not only the flavor and the aromas, but the action, all the bubbles and all the activities, surface tension and wetting phenomena. So we thought, hey, let's make a, let's make a cup that shows all that stuff and also, also represents an application of all that we've learned from our science stuff. Not just how we manage fuels and urine and things like this, but how we can manage drinks for normal everyday living. We since found out that if you make a, re a reusable cup, you could save all kinds of volume in terms of the bags that they use in the space station. Okay, so it has, has these different applications to it. It, NASA was interested in the idea as well, and so our company, through CASIS, is putting this on, on uh, board for testing. So what's going through my mind now is, is it a, just a giant red Solo cup going up, or uh, no, what does it look like? Okay, okay. Now we're doing this in part for fun, but really below all of this is engineering and science type of data. So we are data enthusiasts, you know, in this regard. It, it's nerdy in a way, but it's, it's important to us for designs of real advanced systems on spacecraft. So we are made these things transparent, we can image them, and 80% of the work here is going to be science. How the fluids behave, the changes in temperature, changes in behavior, even how they're used by the astronauts, okay? And we're going to compare those with computer models and analytical expressions of mathematics, okay? So it's science. But 20% of this work is going to be fun for the astronauts. Unscripted fun that they can use at lunchtime, whether they're drinking cocoa or uh, peach mango smoothies or whatever, or espresso, okay? That, those are the kind of things that we expect to be fun, but there's really science underneath all of this stuff, too. So we've learned a lot about how fluids behave in microgravity. How has that helped your design? Okay, that actually dictates the shape of the container. So if we know some of the properties of some of the drinks, we then go into a design, and Drew and I work together on this, to then come up with a shape, 3D print it, test it in drop towers, confirm its performance, show it with computations, with computer simulations, and then demonstrate it in, the, in space. It's the last step. 3D printing, that's a big deal. So is this the reason you went with 3D printing is because there'll be a 3D printer? On orbit? Uh, that's a very nice con connection too. So 3D printing, espresso machines, coffee cups, sounds right to me. So how does it work? Is there any difference in, in I mean, how will they put fluids in it? How does okay. that work? They take a drink bag now from the, from the dispenser, for any drink that they, they wish to do, and then they d dispense it into the cup. It wicks inside the cup and is stable inside so it holds in there like as if gravity was holding it. But it's surface tension, not gravity. When they go to drink, they make a capillary connection and then they continue to drink normally, but it's surface tension that's bringing liquid to the face, not gravity. So it's not being poured into the mouth, it's being drawn in by surface tension forces. Now Don Pettit demonstrated, uh, demonstrated an early version in, in cooperation with us on how, how this works. It was actually patented, but there are new items in this design that make it unique, so there's a second patent coming. What's it like for you to be a university professor and then you have an experiment on space station? It's a delight. It's something we've never gotten used to. Very exciting. Anything else you want to say about capillary beverage? Uh, to all you astronauts, <laughs> have a drink on me.